The reactors are completely melting down in Japan. Are you serious? What? Oh, Lord, pray. Would you please pray for the people of Japan? Pray for them. I was just on the phone this morning with a young lady in Japan who's living through the nightmare of what's happened to her country, to the country of Japan. The shaking, the quaking, ever since the 9.0 earthquake that hit on 3.11.11, that literally shook the ground for six minutes. And then came a tsunami so powerful that it literally hit the island of Japan and moved the entire island eight feet. It knocked the earth off the axis by 4.8 inches. It slowed our day down by 0.1666 milliseconds. And the tsunami came ashore so fast, so furious, so powerful that it came inland six miles, killing 28,000 people and leaving people desperate and homeless, children without parents all over the place. But that wasn't it. That wasn't the end of it. The Fukushima nuclear plants begin exploding. Nuclear reactors begin to puff the smoke and begin the, the scare of potential meltdown. Well, it wasn't one reactor. It wasn't two. It wasn't three. Folks, it was six reactors in the process of melting down. And now reactor number four is getting ready to collapse. We're talking about radiation in the air, in the water, in the soil, in, literally in the food. It's everywhere in Japan. Let me read to you. And also, I'll just say this. I'm on the phone with Japan this morning. I didn't, hadn't even seen these, uh, James McKay, who sent me these, uh, this information this morning. I had not even turned the computer on when I got a phone call from Japan. Spent some time in fellowship with a young lady that's a Christian there. Pray for her. And uh, she watches our YouTube videos every day. She loves the Lord. Here's the thing about it, though. She said, after the earthquake hit Japan, what people don't know is 20 volcanoes in Japan that were dormant have come become active. This thing was so powerful, it literally woke up the sleeping giants within the island nation of Japan. 20 of its volcanoes that were dormant. Tonight, today, right now, they're alive. Fulfilling biblical prophecy that the word of the Lord told us what happened if there would be earthquakes in diverse places. This was the fifth largest earthquake in the history of humanity. And as she's talking to me on the phone this morning, there had been a 5.0 earthquake just a few hours before she called. This thing is real, folks. Here's what they're reporting. Uh, Natural News is reporting that after enduring many months of total inf information blackout on the situation, intelligence sources connected with naturalnews.com has just informed us that the Fukushima nuclear reactor number four may be on the verge of collapsing and that the evacuations in northern Japan could be post necessary it, if should a collapse occurs and is confirmed. I've been saying since it happened, get the people out of Japan, get them off the island, the entire island is going to be uh, contaminated. Um... And, and so, here's the thing. Natural News says, they, they, they're presenting that it's only precautionary alert, as we have not yet been able to uh, double or triple or confirm this report. Being actively uh, investigating, though, they will bring up updates in a timely manner. Now, reactor number four, you may remember, has been given the silent treatment by the authorities there by the plant operators at the Tokyo Electric Power Company and the government of Japan, immediately following the massive earthquake and the huge tsunami that struck the fragile plant back in March, for weeks has left the people, the public, in the dark about the status of reactor number four, its cooling pools. What about whether or not its reactor spent fuel rods were still ex being exposed or not? Or were they still in water? It now appears, however, that the reactor number four's cooling tower, which had been previously been reported to be leaning and in danger, had actually fallen and is now following the course which is inevitable fate, which a possible total collapse of this reactor. It's going to happen, folks. It's in the process. They're all six going to melt down. 
You've already had three melt down. Now reactor number four is melting down. The other two are melting. Question is, will they go completely and collapse? Probably. You can't get the truth out of the government there. And I know what Japan's government's trying to do. They're trying to protect the panic. But all they're doing is allowing the poisonous radiation that's spewing out of these reactors in northern Japan to systematically and slowly affect the entire population of the island nation. And not only them, but as this, rea as this radiation seeps into the, to the water of the Pacific Ocean, it will affect North and South Korea, China, all the way to the western part of the United States. It may not be in large amounts, but it will be in traces. It's not good. One thing about the young lady I talked to on the phone, she said, I know, there's no way to escape the radiation. People will say, well, just get out of here. You can't just pack up and leave a nation. Where do you go? Where do you work? How, does it, how do you pack up a family? Where do you go? Who's opening the... That's not possible. That's really not very possible. So I said to her, you have to trust the Lord. She said, that's exactly right. I have to pray. I plead the blood of Jesus over my family. I have to stand strong in my faith. And a nation that's less than 1% Christian, there's not a lot of faith there. Trust me. And decades and decades of idol worship and false gods and superstitions trying to ward off evil spirits. What has it brought Japan? It hasn't brought them anything but devastation during a, a horrible exposure to the nuclear atomic bombs of World War II and the murder and the massacre and the, and the, and the horrible um, end result of a war they should have never entered. And then now, the fifth largest earthquake leaving the entire world decimated, the entire nation, their, their world just did, turned upside down. We need to pray for the people of Japan now, there's another report, and I have been praying, and I will keep praying for them. And if you're watching in Japan and you're not a Christian, and I know you're not taught Christianity, and I know you're, you're even taught that it's a fairy tale, but it's time. Your gods you've been serving to protect you of evil spirits, what have they got you? Nothing. They can't. There's no power. They're dead gods. I don't want to offend you, but they are dead gods. There's only one true and living God. His name is Jesus. He is the Son of God. He gave His life on a cross to redeem fallen man, to give us hope, and to give us the power of the Holy Spirit. And by the power of His blood, we can be protected from all contamination in the name of Jesus. I have faith to believe that in Jesus' name. I want you to call upon the Lord. Now, let me go quickly. There's another report coming in. I'm feeling God is... It's just amazing that I get this phone call and talk to someone in Japan for about a half hour and then come over here and get these reports that are leaking out today. It's amazing, actually. Now, here's what it says. Confirmation of the Fukushima disaster contaminated the ocean with 50 million times normal radiation, and the leaks are still going on, folks. Are you listening to me? This is December 13th, 2011. Things are suddenly heating up again as the Fukushima as we report yesterday that the southern wall of the Fukushima reactor number four apparently has collapsed over the past few days, calling into question the structural integrity of the remainder of the contaminated building. It's going to fall. Do you know Jesus as your Savior? Now, Paul, what do I got to do? Well, first of all, the Bible says, whosoever would call upon the name of the Lord, they shall be saved. What you have to do is believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He is the true and the living God, the only God. There's really one God. And his son died on the cross for the sins of all of us. For we've all sinned and come short of the glory of God. There's none of us righteous, no, not one. None of us better than anyone else. We're all equal. And the Bible says then, if we would believe upon Jesus Christ, that his death and his burial and his resurrection from the dead, and if we would call upon the name of the Lord, we shall be saved. Allow the blood of Christ to wash your sins away. Open your heart's door to Jesus. Allow him to come in. Let him be the Lord of your life. Call only upon him. Rebuke all other gods and call upon the name of Jesus and the Holy Spirit will come into your life and he'll save you today. If you need help with that, send me a personal message right here on YouTube. Type it, I wanna be saved, I wanna be saved, I wanna be saved. Do it now in Jesus' name.